So Tiafimo Lopez's retirement was fake. Many suspected it was. He's now announced that he's not retired or he's coming out of this fake retirement and he's going to keep his WBO 140 pound strap. He's also been talking about a fight with Devin Haney. Him and Haney have been going back and forth in recent days. Haney claims that Lopez demanded 20 million for a fight between the two. If that's real, then there's no way this fight is happening anytime soon. Tiafimo Lopez says he's the A side, yada, yada, yada. You get the picture. Now, Devin Haney is undisputed at 135. He has the WBO belt as well as the other three. But the reason I single out the WBO belt is because don't they have a rule whereby if a WBO champion in one weight class steps up and wants to challenge a WBO champion in a different division, he gets to become mandatory or something, or he gets priority when it comes to challenging for that belt. Because that's what happened with Usyk when he stepped up from cruiserweight to heavyweight. He immediately got made mandatory for Anthony Joshua, if memory serves me correct. And they've done this in several other weight classes. Go and have a read of the WBO <laughs> rule book, because it is very long. And just like all these other sanctioning bodies, I have to laugh at some of their rules because they'll have a rule for something and then below it will be a bunch of clauses which allow them to basically override that rule at their discretion. <laughs> which is just another way of saying they make the rules up as they go along or they can make the rules up as they go along if they wish, if they think it's necessary. So there you go, Tiafimo Lopez coming out of this fake retirement, keeping his WBO belt. 140 pounds. Didn't want Devin Haney to step up and snatch it. I don't know whether that was the motive for this or whether he just was always going to come back now anyway. Maybe he's just trolling Devin Haney. I don't know because he says that Haney was going to fight Barbosa for the WBO belt or that's what he was trying to do for the vacant belt. That's who they were looking to match if uh, Lopez didn't decide to keep it. And yeah, maybe Lopez was just trolling him. If the fight were to happen, who would you pick between Devin Haney and Tiafimo Lopez? In boxing, they say you're only as good as your last fight. Tiafimo Lopez's performance against Josh Taylor impressed a lot more people than Devin Haney's performance against Vasyl Lomachenko. But styles make fights. That should be apparent to everybody, given the fact that Tiafimo Lopez lost to George Cambosis, and he lost well. I'm, I'm not saying he took the defeat well. I'm saying it was not a controversial decision. Cambosis deserved to win that fight. Drop Tiafimo Lopez in that fight. But then Devin Haney comes in and schools Cambosis twice in Cambosis' backyard. Styles make fights, right? That's how it goes. So regardless of how you thought they looked in their recent performances, how do you think the styles match up between Tiafimo Lopez and Devin Haney? Do you think Haney will be able to get him with that slickness? Or do you think Tiafimo Lopez with the sharpness and the punching power and the strength that he would get it. Let me know what you think.